Oh, hey, man, can I copy your homework? Well, sure, no problem if you change it a little bit. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> This video is sponsored by BoatTownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. You're looking for the latest booster packs in town or that specific code to complete your deck. This is the website for you. Use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your complete order. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a European platform that I personally use every single day. You can buy and sell cards to people all across Europe and it's easy to do so. So definitely take a look at CardMarket.com if you are a European player. Next sponsor and the last uh, of the bunch is going to be yourplaymat.com. This is going to be the website if you need to create your custom playmat. Everybody wants to have a unique playmat. You can design and upload images onto this website and create playmats from the get go. Definitely be sure to check it out if you're interested in buying your own playmat and use the coupon code zabdostcg 10 yp to of course get 10% off your next order. Anyhow, enjoy this video. Thanks for uh, watching through the commercials and I'll see you in a couple of seconds. Peace. What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG video on my channel. On this channel you get daily Pokemon TCG content so be sure you are subscribed and today we're going to be talking about the new Dragon types that are coming back into the TCG. Uh, yeah, uh, roughly 10 years ago we have, of course have uh, the Dragon types introduced in the TCG and then suddenly with Sword and Shield they completely vanished out of nowhere. It's like the story of the Avatar I know but now Dragon types are completely back and they're back with a vengeance. Uh, first of all, uh, yeah, if you're a fan of the, the channel or uh, Dragon Types in general, be sure to let me know by destroying the hell out of the like button. It helps out so much, guys. And uh, we are going to be talking about the newly Rayquaza VMAX, uh, the Rilladon VMAX. There's a lot of Dragon Types I want to be talking about, even Noivern. And uh, this is a fantastic looking artwork that uh, we can see here that Dragons are totally back. I actually thought that Dragons were going to come back. I actually uh, predicted that in my 12 hour live stream to celebrate uh, yeah, 30,000 subscribers. It was one of the questions that will Dragon Types be uh, coming back into TCG and the reason that I said yes is that they specifically didn't mention that dragon types will be going away. With fairy types they specifically said fairy types will be uh, no longer being printed and sword and shield. With dragon types that was not the case so they were waiting until there was a specific set that they want to reintroduce the dragon types so it would be more impactful. They also want to be balancing, balancing out the game and uh, that's why <laughs> yeah, they actually gave the dragon types no weakness. Uh, you might think, like, oh, this is going to be ridiculous, dragon types having no weakness. Well, first of all, dragon types hit nothing for weakness, they don't have a weakness, and also they have awkward energy attack costs, uh, yeah, resembling the colors on uh, yeah, the Pokemon. So, very interesting for sure. So, we're going to be taking a look at, of course, the Japanese sets Sky Stream and Towering Perfection. They uh, just got revealed over at Poke Beach. Big shout out to PokeBeach.com. And uh, uh, yeah, Ray Eels is back. Who remembers playing Rayquaza EX with Electric? It was probably one of the most dominant tier one decks ever since its release uh, with the Rayquaza EX. I think it's the one from Dragons Exalted, if I'm not mistaken. But the cool thing about this is that uh, Rayquaza is now back and it's going to be ridiculous. Definitely tier one. So if you still don't know what to play post rotation, might I introduce you to Rayquaza VMAX? I'm gonna be uh, yeah, uh, revealing to you guys what the card is all about, giving you some uh, great strategies here and there. So uh, be sure to stick around. This is, these are the booster pack artworks. Uh, the Rolodon VMAX, Rayquaza VMAX, they are here with a vengeance. The dragon types are back and uh, we're gonna be talking, taking a look at some cards. But first, if you can see this card, it has zero weakness. Which is crazy, it only has 320 HP, I say only because there's a couple of uh, yeah, things that can actually hit that number. Think about Gengar VMAX and all that, uh, with some single strike energies uh, attached. So yeah, I'm actually uh, not too impressed by the HP, but uh, it's going to be ridiculous, this ability as well as the attack, but more on that later. First of all, I want to let you guys know, dragons have no weakness. As you can see, an awkward attack cost, he needs a fire, he needs a lightning, so uh, that's what's gonna be uh, the thing here with dragon types. We already know that from the past, but this guy needs fighting and metal, so it's gonna be awkward to set them up, but uh, the good thing uh, about these cards is that they have zero weakness. But there's a couple of cards revealed, and uh, the first one I wanna be talking about is Flaffy. Yeah, this is exactly, exactly electric from Noble Victories. It's like, uh, throughout the retreat cost, uh, the weakness, the attack it has, the ability, 
Yeah, Dino Motor was so huge. I actually uh, made videos back in 2011 as well, 10 years ago. And I was very uh, much a fan of Eels. I was playing Magnazone Prime with Electric. Be sure to let me know in the comment section if you guys remember that period of time. Probably the best time to be playing Pokemon, to be honest, because there was no uh, yeah, multiple prize Pokemon out there. It was just like, oh, I have myself a Prime card and that was it. So that was cool. Uh, longer TCG games, I loved it so much. Anyhow, I'm uh, yeah moving away from uh, yeah Flaffy here. Very cool artwork, as you can see, lightning in the skies. He's uh, at the flower pad, and it's a very cool card. But Dynamo is where it's at. Uh, if you have this in play, you can actually use the ability, and it's like, yeah, you can accelerate a lightning energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. So it uh, doesn't have to be lightning Pokemon, it's exactly Dynamo. You can attach to uh, Carlos type Pokemon, you can attach to anything you might want. So uh, this is going to be ridiculously good. Uh, why is that? Because Rayquaza is going to be needing a lot of lightning energies. I can also see this working out with Bolton V. Uh, you can uh, be using this with Carlos types to just have energy acceleration in general. Uh, uh, it's going to be really, really, really good. So uh, we already know that Electric was very dominant. Also, people might remember this. Oh, this is a Lightning Malamar. Well, uh, you have not been playing the game maybe too long, but it exactly is like Malamar, but then for lightning energies instead of psychic energies. It's same amount, and it also has 90 freaking HP. You might think, oh, that's low, oh, that's bad. No, you have level ball. Play four quick ball, play four level ball, play some evolution instance, play Rayquaza, play another Pokemon you want. It's gonna be ridiculous. Flaffy will be a, a tier one card for sure for many years to come. Okay, we also have a cool looking Ampharos. Unfortunately, that one is not good at all. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> this is that. Yeah, this, you can actually slap 220, but stage two is never good. Oh, look at this artwork. Any Dragonite fans out there? Look at this one. Slash 50 damage. This is for two cars energies. Isn't affected by any effect, so you can slap Altarios with it. Well, it's gonna be rough to just knock them out. Maybe we can get some. Uh... I do you remember like the Altaria? I think it was from Dragon's Exalted, which allowed you to dish, dish out more damage with your Dragon types. Maybe we will get cards that uh, are going to be pairing with Dragon types to make them even more busted. As you can see, zero weakness, zero freaking weakness, zero resistance. It does have a crazy retreat cost, but it also has an attack here. And uh, it's called the Dragon Gale, 250 damage, and this stack does 20 damage to each of your bench Pokemon. 250 is not bad. You can uh, not use Frostmod, unfortunately. You can... I think you can use uh, Melanie here. Well, it's gonna be... Yeah, the only downside, you can keep using 250, 250, 250, but you slap your own. It's not too bad of a damage output, 250. Moving forward, Rayquaza V. I still don't know why they uh, put the Rapid Strike stamp onto this, but I think it's going to be the reason why it's going to be able to pair itself up with Zero Aura V from Chilling Rain. That's the only logical explanation I can think of because this just screams single strike in my opinion, but hey, that's just me. Oh, okay, we have Dragon Pulse, 40 damage, discard the top two cards of your deck. In the past, that was a very cool attack with a Shiny Rayquaza doing that before him, being able to knock out Tynamos, which were the uh, cards evolving into Electric eventually. Right now, 40 damage, it's nice to start off with, but discarding the top two cards of your deck might seem bad, but if you think about Flaffy needing lightning energies in the discard pile, and you have Orangaroo to put the lightning energy on top or something like that, or maybe Rotom Phone, whatever, this could actually be not too bad. And then the Spiral Burst, 20 damage, you may discard up to uh, two basic fire or lightning energy attached to this Pokemon, and this attack does 80 more damage for every energy discarded in that way. So in theory, you could be slapping a whopping 180. It actually hits the numbers on stuff like Crobat, which is already nice. The bench hitter that everybody will be playing post-rotation. You can also get Krikachun in the mix. Are there even more Pokemon you can hit? Probably, but that's the only Pokemon that came up to mind with 180 HP specifically. So that is uh, not too bad of an attack, but the Rayquaza VMAX. This is what the video is all about. And just going to let you guys know, this is probably the best card, if not one of the best cards ever printed. First, let's just talk about this ability. Once during your turn, you can discard your hands and draw three cards. What? And this is also stackable. Let's say I go first, Rayquaza, Rayquaza, Rayquaza V. So through a couple of them. The following turn, uh, we're gonna be slapping down Crobat, Research, Rayquaza, VMAX ability, Rayquaza, VMAX ability, Rayquaza, VMAX ability, boom. On itself, that would make this card insane already because how many times you say like, I need the boss's orders for game. I don't have boss's orders. The Danny GX will be rotated. I can only Crobat for two. There's only one thing to do. Using this ability, this crazy sky high wave ability. Discard your hand, draw three cards. And it's also stackable. That's something I love. If you just want to end the game, let's say 
you need the boss doors for game you can make sure you can find it you need uh whatever you need one fire energy to find of course the, the necessary stuff for game amazing also this ability acquires you if you use this you can get lightning energies in the discard pile as well your turn does not end just like with intrepidor you can just oh i ha i got money into like the most ridiculous bad hand well no problem Rayquaza is uh making sure you get money proof such a fantastic ability but that's i didn't even talk about the attack just yet so it's attack g max burst 20 damage base you may discard any number of uh, basic fire or lightning energies from this pokemon this attack does 80 more damage for every energy discarded in this way so uh any number of fire or lightning so in theory let's just be honest you have yourself three flaffies out maybe there's one priced maybe they knock something out doesn't matter three flaffies and then uh, the fire attach of turn means you have four energies attached which means in total you slap the crazy damage output uh, 80 160 320 with base damage of 20 that's 340 damage and you can do that consistently now the only thing we need is caldeo ex with like a float stone and you're there maybe use the tower of waters to actually have free retreat with requaza v max maybe you slap your deck full of switches and uh, air balloons it's gonna be ridiculous like you maybe you just get through requaza v maxes and they go in circles this one has an air balloon you retreat uh, accelerate with dynamotor fire and attachment of the turn go with requaza v max 340 i cannot stress enough how much damage output that is just because all the the biggest v max out there is eternity's v max having 340 hp and this makes the uh, eternity's v max actually seem very underpowered here because this guy slaps 340 freaking damage you can one hit ko them you, uh, of course, can find the boss. If you don't have the one at KO, you can just gust up because the numbers are pretty perfect, right? So let's say you have uh, 20 base damage and then 80, 80. That means 180. So if you just only discard two energies, you can one shot uh, Crobat V. So in the long term, uh, let's say you cannot get the one at KO. You only have one or two Flaffies out. That means you can just gust around, just gust up Crobat and uh, maybe go for an Echoing Horn, a card from Chilling Rain, slapping it back on the bench going after it once again ah requaza v max is crazy the only thing that i really don't like about this card let us just be honest is that it has the rapid strike emblem on it and uh, the reason that i don't like is that rapid strike is for strategies right strategies and uh, spreading damage we have sandakana v max we have g max rapid flow of the rapid strike urshifu v max it's like more strategic than just this is seems this screams single strike right so uh one hit ko that's single strike right and this the only reason I can think of that this has the emblem, let's just go over all the way to, uh, I don't even know if uh, Zero Aura is already here, Zero Aura, Zero Aura V, let's just put it on to Google, Zero Aura, Zero Aura V, let's go. So Zero Aura V here, very fantastic Pokemon, uh, and Chilling Rain has of course an attack, and uh, it actually is called, uh, if any of your Rapid Strike Pokemon use an attack during your last turn, except for this Pokemon, this attack does also 160 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. So this fella is the only reason I can think of that they put Rapid Strike onto Rayquaza. Let's just be honest, right? You one hit KO something for uh, 340 damage, you take three prize cards. The following turn, you go for this little fella and uh, then give it a, a telescopic side, gust up a Galarian Zigzagoon or whatever is weak and then win the game on the spot because you knock out a Crobat and you knock out a one prize Pokemon. <laughs> Crazy. And this is possible because of Dynamotors. You can set this up in one go. So Zera Aura V will get more expensive, mark my words. It's a one-off. It's like the Raikou EX back in the Rayil days. Oh, it's gotta be ridiculous. The most chased after card from uh, Evolving Skies, that's for sure. Rayquaza V Max. I don't know how you guys feel about this one, but I can gush all day long. But crazy ability, crazy attack, cool retreat cost with Air Balloon or Tower of Waters, having the Rapid Strike Emblem to work with Zera Aura V, having zero weakness. <laughs> why who's gonna be able to stop Rayquaza it's like oh we know ADP is rotating let me give you guys another dragon Pokemon that is unstoppable oh boy anyhow let's move on we have a, a Flapple here that thinks that he is uh, the new Weavile here this attack does 50 damage times an hour of opponent's Pokemon ability with yeah Pokemon and play with abilities so this guy tr tries to think he's the new Weavile here well 50 damage with Pokemon with like 320 HP it's not gonna work out this worked out in a meta game where Pokemon had 180 HP or something, and yeah. His other attack, by the way, is uh, if the opponent's active Pokemon is a V, 160. It's a stage one though. You need grass and fire. So as you can see, resembling the types on the colors of the card. Also, zero weakness. Also, I haven't seen any dragon type with resistance, so no resistance, no weakness. That's what it's all about. Appleton, look at this artwork, man. Uh, fire breathing, or I don't know what, he's do what he does right now, but it's crazy. It's acid, right? <laughs> Asiatic Slime, 70 damage times the number of special energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon. 
energy cards or energy? Uh, special energy. So the rapid strike would count as two energies, right? Anyhow, it's still not too great, if I'm being honest. And second attack, if your opponent's active Pokemon as a V Pokemon, also 160. So you could be playing a Flapple deck. Flapple and Appleton deck, crazy. Zinnia's Resolve. <laughs> Does it sound like Ends Resolve? Yeah, Zinnia, back in the day we had a card like that. I think it was Dragon Majesty, if I'm not mistaken, but the card never saw play. And uh, this Zinnia, you must discard two cards from your hand in order to play this card. Draw one card for each of your opponent's Pokemon in play. Okay, let me just be honest. Typical TCG game, they have four Pokemon in play. You always draw four cards, but you need to discard two cards from hand. Is that worth it? Sounds like Sophocles to me. Let's uh, say you're up against Eternus. They have a, a nine Pokemon in play. That sounds like a plan, right? Discard two cards, draw nine. <laughs> Maybe as a one-off, as a cute one-off. Okay, you guys love Brocklet Hill? Brocklet Hill is back with a vengeance. Stormy range. Once during each player's turn, that player may search their deck for a basic lightning or a dragon-type Pokemon and put it onto the bench. Fantastic. Brocklet Hill saw so much play with Boss Rock uh, to have uh, some Pokemon set up. This is going to be fantastic with Flaffy, by the way. Quick Ball, Lava Ball, Stormy Range Stadium card, so that means you have your Flaffy set up on the second turn instantly. Crazy. Altaria is back! It doesn't bring uh, extra damage output, but it does have free retreat, no weakness and all that, so it's the Dragon type. Once during your turn, you may search your uh, deck for a supporter card, reveal it, shuffle uh, your deck and put that card on the top. Okay. And Oranguru can draw it out. So Altaria, Oranguru combos. You're having the same supporter you want every single turn. Interesting. If you're playing a level ball engine, maybe a 1-1 one, one line could be very cute. Dialga Single Strike. If the defending Pokemon is a V, it can't attack during your opponent's next turn. Very bad because, yeah, we don't, we'll don't. we no longer have Reset Stamp and people have Switch, Escape Row, Bird Keeper. I could keep going, but it's crazy. And if they switch to the bench, the attack effect gets reset. So, uh, in theory, it sounds cool, but it, it totally isn't. <clears throat> Yo, there's the Dino. The Dino is in the house. Search your deck for two basic Pokemon, put them on the bench. Okay, this one doesn't need any explanation. And this one has Dragon Counter. This attack does 100 more damage for each prize card your opponent took during their previous turn. Let's say, let's be honest, they knocked out... They knocked out a Crobat. They took two prize cards, now you're slapping 220. Still not enough, unfortunately. Even if they knocked out uh, a V Max, if you know, if they knocked out a V Max, you slap 320, and they're still V Max with more HP than that. So it's a stage two. It's not good. Noivern, one of my favorite Pokemon from uh, that specific region. Uh, yeah, look at that. The artwork is cool. Boom burst, 20 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. That's nice. Telescopic sight. Yeah, it's like a basic Pokemon. Maybe is is this better than Sandakana V Max? Sandakana also slaps 60 to be active, but this needs less work. It has free retreat and has no weakness. Thinking about this for sure. You cannot share all this guy, that's like the, the bad part about it. Loud Synchro. 60 damage. If you, uh, yeah, if you have the same number of cards in your hand, 180. Oh, I love this. This brings me back in the days of Yan Mega Prime. Aww. Having the same hand size takes a little bit of skill, but you have ways to do it for sure. Two energies, 180. Maybe an expanded this sounds like. Double, double dragon energy. Boom, 180 on this first turn going second. Easy. <laughs> okay. The Ruladon V single strike. Ready to fire in a, a crazy hyper beam or whatever. Or maybe it's a Rasengan, you don't know. <laughs> okay, Metal Cloth, 70 damage, nothing to uh, yeah say here. 140 damage during your opponent's next turn. The Defend Pokemon attack does 30 less damage. This is bad. Utterly bad. How do you can get the energies on, by the way? You cannot use Saucer. You cannot use Karate Bells. Uh, yeah, this yeah Karate Bell will be rotated. So how do you get this guy powered up? I, I really don't know. The following card is the uh, the Ruladon V Max, and this one is also Single Strike. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from each of your opponent's Pokemon that has any special energies attached. Okay, you're up against a special energy deck. You automatically win. That's what I'm seeing here. That's for sure. Crazy. Okay. I wonder, yeah, Phoebe also allows you to go through this effect, right? I think so. Uh, G-Max Pulverization, 220. This attack damage isn't affected by any effects of your opponent. This is just a, a stall card, right? This doesn't scream, oh, you can attack. You cannot even single strike roar the spiral energy or what is it, impact energy. So it's gonna be a problem with this to set this guy up with attacking. But it's immune from special energy, so maybe in a, yeah, in a deck that just wants to wall out. 
Oh, look at this. Drompa's back and it has been drawn very, very weirdly. Look at this artwork, man. Crazy. Okay, 70 damage. If you have any damage Pokemon that have any damage counter. It's like, it's like the Drompa GX. Who knows? Yeah. Berserk. You're gonna go, you're ready to go Berserk? 160 if you have any damage, Pokemon with damage counters on them. Water and fighting. How? How do you get this set up? <laughs> Little Swablu, is this better? Flip a coin if it fails, this is nothing. Yeah, why the hell not, right? YOLO, YOLO Swablu. Ryan, look at that. Ken Sigimori and a random background slapped onto it. Fantastic, that's the, <laughs> that's the way uh, that most supporters are, but yeah. Choose, I, I wonder why they like don't draw the supporters like very uh, insanely like with the artworks of the Pokemon, I don't know. Uh, you can only play this card if uh, your Pokemon was knocked out during your opponent's last turn. So it's like Rosa. Choose one basic energy card from your discard pile and attach to one of your Pokemon. Even the active. Doesn't need to be the bench. Uh, doesn't need to be an evolution. Doesn't need to be basic. Just whatever. Yeah. Attach an energy on one of your Pokemon from the discard pile. Search your deck for any one card and put it in hand. This is great. I think control decks will love this card. That's for sure. Ro this could also be the way you search out rare candy. This could be the replacement of Rosa, by the way. And specific, I know Rosa is way better because you can get like rare candy and the Pokemon. But this gets energy acceleration so you can start attacking more frequently. And then the Crystal Cave. It is the new Shrine of Punishment. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's not. I wish it was the case. Once during each player's turn, that player may heal 30 damage from each of their metal or uh, yeah, dragon Pokemon. So you can heal your dragons. Dragon, dragon, heal the dragon. Okay, cool. Um, I really wish we had, of course, something like Shrine of Punishment for V-Maxes or V-Pokemon in general when <laughs> between turns they get 20 damage. I really wish a card like that comes to fruition because I love one prize decks and I want to succeed with one prize decks. And you, you know me, I'm a, I'm a Blacephalon player, yeah, baby blounts, kind of put it on the map a little bit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I miss one prize decks in general. I don't like stall decks like Decidueye, so I'm waiting for the day that a cool one prizer comes out and smacks these V-Maxes around. Okay. And we have some additional cool, cool artworks for promo cards. How cool is that? The Altaria. Oh, there's a Turtonator. Have not even seen this Turtonator. Look at that. Even with the emblem on here. Shell Trap. 30 damage. A defending Pokemon tries to attack. You put 8 damage counters on that attacking Pokemon. So, uh, Turtonator GX in the mini form. Very cool artwork, by the way. That's going to be a fantastic hollow. Anyhow, that was it for this small video. We've uh, already 22 minutes into this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of the dragons coming back. I'm very excited for dragons to be back in the format. What do you think about dragons having no weakness? What do you think about Rayquaza VMAX? Let me know all your opinions and uh, yeah, thoughts down below in the comment section. If you enjoy what you saw and you want to see more daily Pokemon TCG content, be sure to subscribe because uh, yeah, that means you get daily Pokemon TCG content. You get notified instantly if you click that notification bell and destroy the hell out of the like button because yeah, if you enjoy what you saw, uh, the algorithm is going to favor me and that's uh, very much appreciated. Anyhow, have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. Be sure to check out our sponsors. Go check out potownstore.com if you're looking for TCGO code cards. You can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. They will have Chilling Rain in stock very, very shortly. Be one of the first because they're going to go very quickly and you can save 5% on your order. Or maybe get some promo cards, Eternization, whatever you need to play, post rotation or whatever. Also, go check out cardmarket.com if you're a European player. Uh, the link is in the description below. Uh, Card Market is for European players where you can buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every day uh, because I'm a European. You know how that goes. And also our latest sponsor, go check out uh, your playmat. There's a link in the description below where if you click it, you get 10% of your entire order. And there you can uh, create your own unique custom playmat. That's nothing better than to play on a custom playmat when real life events come back. Anyhow, have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow with more Pokemon TCG epicness. I'm out. Peace.